look how close she is to the thing y'all like guys i'm heading to pollo tropical real quick so i can um grab some dinner because i don't feel like cooking today but really i, I don't have time so you gotta work today i think you've been on some bomb shit since italy Yeah, y'all see it. Yep, yep. Ta-da! Guys, this is the turnout. I did good. Yeah, y'all see it. Yep, yep, yep. So you're probably wondering, what am I doing on this website? I'm trying to go back and um, go back to school, y'all. I want to, I've been strongly thinking about retaking a refresher for the medical billing and coding. I've done it before, but the college that I went to wasn't accredited. Um, after I completed the program, that college just um, ended up being a scam. They were all over the news and everything. So all that I studied, all the hard work was just for nothing. So I came across this website called Ashworth College and um, I've just been like reading on it and checking out the full curriculum. It doesn't say too much on on um, when the program ends, but it shows you what type of curriculum that you'll be taking throughout the whole time you are registered with them. So I'm gonna give them a call and see what they say because they've been calling me guys like when you provide them with your email you know how those companies are once you enter your email and your telephone number they're on you they and they're not going to stop until they get you so the tuition cost is not so bad guys i could literally pay the full pay but doing the monthly pay is not bad at, at all so, and then it's a self-paced type of um, program. So, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited, but I, the main thing is I want to know how long the program. So I just got off the phone with them. I registered for college, for school, guys. I'm so excited. But anyway... These are the questions that I wrote to myself so I can ask. So I asked, um, how long is a medical billing and coding program? For she said four months, depends on me. So um, four months, well, I might complete it within three months. It all depends if I stay on it. And she says that they give us up to a year to complete it. And this is how much the program was for. And I put $40 down today. And this is who I spoke to, Shauna and the student services telephone number and their office hours when they are available for us. So yes, I am so excited. Um, I do have my portal set up and everything, y'all. So yes, your girl is ready to take over the medical billing and coding world. So this is my welcome letter, guys. So here's the orientation video. So let's start off with getting started in the student portal. I'm gonna go ahead and look into this and see what it's all about so I know how to go about using these things. I'll get back to y'all later. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. I just dropped your niece and nephews off to school. So now I am just chilling on a couch, working my gig job, and then I'm starting um, if you didn't see um, on the last um, clip where I told you I registered for school, yay! I'm so proud of myself, guys. Like this course that I registered for, which is the medical billing encoder, encoding, it's more like a refresher because I took it before, but the college that I took it um, that I actually went to school for, um, the college that I actually went through, for the course, end up being a whole scam, y'all. They were all on the news and everything that they were like stealing the students' money and giving us, uh, putting us, um, adding loans on top of us. Like it was just so much. And to make the long story short, um, I was able to get all my money back. 
So that's a good thing. But anyway, so basically I actually wasted my time because the courses were not accredited after they said that they were. So here I am again after six years, y'all, okay? But I did graduate that course with that college that I went to, but I've never, you know, um, follow up with it. I never actually worked towards it because uh, the way they made it seem like, anyways, it, it was just a horrible experience and I felt like I wasted my time. But if I did my research on my own, then I would have realized, yo, you're not wasting your time. This is how you can go about it. But you know, when you don't have anyone like, you know, that's been in the field that can just tell you, hey, this is how you can go about it and stuff like that, then you don't know, especially if you don't do your research. So that's why it's good to do your research, guys. But anyway, so um, I've been doing my research, which pushed me and motivated me to do um, what I'm doing now. So, um, I, I got off the phone with them and, um, I feel good about it. I feel good about the whole process. So now I have access to my, the student portal. So now I am now doing my reviews and I'm going to start right away. I'm starting right away. I'm not sleeping on it because there's no time for any excuses. There is no time for, uh, there's no time for excuses and there's no time to waste neither, you know, because it just all depends on you. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it, it's, uh, it, it's also a good thing when you have somebody that motivates you to do better and stuff like that. But when you don't have that, it doesn't really matter because if you know what you are setting yourself, like what your goals are and what you want later, that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I don't want to stay put. I want to be able to travel and still make money at the same time, you know, and and that's just what it's going to be. And I don't want to feel like, oh, because I'm a single mom and I have two kids, I can't move around. No, that's bull crap. Because all these other moms are single moms that have like more than two kids. You know what I'm saying? They are living their lives. They're either traveling with their kids or they're doing things where they're not stopping their situation. They're not stopping living they're not okay how can i say it? they're they are not using their lifestyle as an excuse you know what i'm saying and my heart is with traveling moving around doing different things meeting new people just that's just me that's just who i am i was cut from a different cloth that's what my family say. My family don't understand me, so they call me crazy. And I don't think I'm crazy. I think I'm perfectly sane. I think they're crazy because they're not spontaneous people. They're not adventurous. They don't like to try new things. They like to stick to the old, to what they know. And that's it. But because I'm not like that, I'm willing to change. And, you know, I'm up for change and I want to experience things. And they think that's crazy right? <laughs> so I'm at a point in my life where I'm just like, I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever comes my way. And it's just so much out there that you can do to succeed, guys. You just got to let it happen. You just got to work towards it and let it happen. And that's where I'm at right now. You know, I'm not using any more excuses of my situations and why I can't do this and why I can't do that. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not. So I just feel like medical billing and coding is a great way for me to explore the world and do what I want to do while still making money. 
and that's where I'm at. Money ain't everything. I always talk about it, but when, in reality, you need it. You need to have it in order to live comfortable. And I always want to live comfortable. I don't want to be limited. And I and also you need money to remain stable as well. So that's what it is. And that's what it's going to be. And I'm so excited, guys. I am trying to complete this course within two months. I'm challenging myself. And I know I can flip and do it. I can flip and do it. And the funny part is that the school that I registered with, um, that's online. It's an online course that I'm taking, guys. It's with another college that I actually went to years ago, which was an online um, college. So I think that online college took over, or this is their franchise or their sister or brother um, website. So it's funny how they mentioned the last one that I used to go to school with name on here. And I was like, hey, I used to go to that college. So that was funny. So I'm here, y'all. I'm heel. Okay. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a roadside assistance queen, but I can't be that forever. I can't be that forever, you know, and the medical field will never die. God forbid if we go through another pandemic, I want to be I want to make sure that I am prepared for it, okay? I want to make sure that there's no downfall for me at all. And to be honest with you at the um throughout the pandemic, y'all, I still had a job. I was still working, but I was working from home. So it's not like um it's not like I was struggling or anything. It's just that, you know, it wasn't ideal. It wasn't my ideal job. Not something that I wanted to do. And the fact that um, working with doctors and nurses, you know, like when you work around people like that, they are open to... Um, teach you different things besides what you going to school for. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be your um, backbone and uh, to push you to become more and to do better. And that's what I want. I always needed that. You know, I always needed that push. And I think everybody in life needs a push. I think everybody in life needs someone to be like, I believe in you and I know you can do it and stuff like that. Because sometimes just when you think that you don't have it, you really do. But it's just always good to hear it from someone else that, hey, you're doing great. I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's where I'm at, guys. I'm, I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about this because... Not that I don't like Florida anymore, but I'm bored with Florida. I just want to go to a different state and experience it. And then the, you know, my, okay, so I've been traveling after my mom passed away. Um, I just been traveling and that's when I didn't have any kids. I was single, you know, at the time I was living with my father and I'm just like, there has to be more to this, you know, because all I was doing was just waking up going out with my friends, partying. You know, if you live in Miami, then you know, and you know, like, it's a party city. These clubs never close. They close at 5 a.m. in the morning and do it all over again, you know, at night. So, um, and I just got tired of it. So I started traveling, you know, my friend, she couldn't make it to my mom's funeral. So she called me, she was like, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to your mom's funeral. But I'll make it up to you. Just come through in Georgia and I'll show you a good time. And that's exactly what I did. Went to Georgia and the majority of my high school friends lived there. And they all sh showed me a great time. And I really appreciated that. But Georgia, you know, wasn't so homey for me because it was just so much hills. And I'm afraid of heights, y'all. I can't do the hills. I can't. You know, Florida is a flat surface and that's what I'm used to. So... I was like, nah. So I X'd um, Georgia out of my list there. <laughs> and then after that, um, 
you know, I went to, um, I just traveled after that. You know, I went to New Orleans. Um, I went to Boston, New York, Connecticut. Um, I went to Vegas, you know, and I don't know if you're like me, but when you go to these places, do you ever think about, dang, what if it, what would it be like if I ever lived here? You know what I'm saying? Like, how is it? Is it a safe location for me and my kids? And what can honestly, you know, so, um, yeah, so, uh, so I've been there. I went to Jacksonville, but I just passed it. I've, I've been to Tennessee, but it was just like me dropping someone off and going right back to Georgia. Um, I've been places, y'all. I've traveled and I went to, um, I've been to islands. I went to Haiti, the Bahamas, Jamaica. Um, what else? I went to Harbor Island, um, and yeah, so I want to continue doing that, guys. I want to travel and 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 um and visit more states than ever, you know. So and not only travel and visit them, I actually want to live in one for like at least probably six months to a year and see what it's like being in a different state. So that's why I decided to do medical billing and coding because you can actually do that remotely, you know, and and not be restricted. Because, you know, like when you do remote work, sometimes um, certain states are restricted from certain jobs. And with medical billing and coding, you're not restricted at all because you can always work for a company in that state. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so ready, y'all. I'm so ready. By next year, I'm just ready to spread my wings and fly with my kids. And you're probably saying, what about school for your kids and whatever? Those people, those little people are going to be doing homeschooling. Okay? Homeschooling. Because my son, he's already acting up in school already. He's a class clown. He likes to show off. So he's been mis misbehaving so by by just putting him in homeschool i won't have to worry about getting um bad notes from him every other day or getting emails from his teacher about him misbehaving you know that does something to me i don't know if as a parent for you but for me it really does because by the end of the day the teachers are looking at us like we're the problem when we're not so, yeah, guys, I'm just excited about the whole thing here. So I just calculated this that I registered yesterday, which was the eight, the twentieth. So probably by August, I should be done with this program. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So. And um, I might just be doing um, roadside assistance part-time until I'm able to get an actual good paying job with the medical billing and coding. And then, yes, I will be doing the coding remotely. I would not be in nobody's office because I had a bad experience. So I'm not doing that. So, yeah. Follow my journey, y'all. Follow my journey. Maybe this will motivate you to go back to school or maybe this would be an interest that you always had once upon a time and maybe you can mimic me or just follow my lead and hopefully you know I can help you out as well by giving you some tips and tricks as well on how to go about it All right
Da -da. Guys, this is the turnout. I did good. I did pretty well, I think. So, yeah. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do, y'all, is I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of videos for y'all. So, yeah, I'll see y'all later. So guys, I'm heading to Pollo Tropical real quick so I can um, grab some dinner because I don't feel like cooking today. But really, I, I don't have time. So got to work today as soon as I go pick up the kids. So I'm trying to run to Pollo Tropical really fast before I go and pick up the kids. Hopefully there's not traffic out there. Yeah, it's hot as hell heck outside oh my god i'm burning freaking florida y'all always be with the bull caca damn florida <laughs> oh, it's so flipping hot y'all can't wait they say next week it's gonna rain but it's been cold throughout um the mornings but when it gets like around 11, that's when the shit gets hot again. I just be like, I'm over it. I'm over it. Gonna get some pollo tropical, pollo chickens on the grill. You never taste a chicken. This good. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jam while I hit there. Hope it's not traffic. And I'm acting like. I'm on time, like I have enough time to do what I need to do. And I don't. So, all right, guys. I hate the fact that parking is tight here. hit my fucking window. Like that. I'm not parking close to that pole again just to be a convenience. I'm gonna be an inconvenience. Shit. He need to scoot over with his big ass truck. But anyway. Guys, let me tell y'all something. Roddy Rich, hold on, hold on. I gotta talk to my family real quick. So, um, you know, I've been in my feelings, right? And I had my cycle already, guys. I just felt like at one point, like I felt like crying because it, I just felt so overwhelmed. And to ask me why, I don't know. I think I'm losing my love for um, roadside assistance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like I'm feeling it anymore. Like, I want to do it anymore. Maybe I just need to do it part time. I don't know. It's like, don't get me wrong. I don't, it's not like I don't like it anymore. It's just that I don't want to do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm, uh, I'm due for another, um, for another, another road trip or vacation or something. I'm due for it because I don't know. I just been feeling overwhelmed like I felt like 
this is how I felt the other day as if I was pregnant again you know how you're pregnant and then you out of nowhere start crying but you're okay but you start crying because you can't control your hormones that's how I felt the other day like I wanted to break down like and just cry I felt like if I did do that and I should have did that that day and that would have made me feel better but I don't want to scare my kids Whenever they see me crying, they start panicking, they start crying too, and I don't want that, you know? But it was just that day where I was just feeling like, damn, like what's going on with me? Do you guys ever feel that way? That's just life, I guess, you know? Everything is just happening so fast. I mean, the way you want it, but you never thought that it would actually happen. And I just got like, no, I don't know how to explain it, y'all. It's just really different. It's just a really different feeling. But anyways, I will hit y'all up when I get to Boyo Tropical. Holy chickens on the grill. You never taste a chicken. This good. All right, y'all. We're here. Boyo. I'm here. Look at this sign. This sign looks horrible. Guys, I always get the same thing over and over again. But I've noticed that their dark meat tastes better than the white meat. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'm going to get the family meal. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get the family meal, which consists of the chicken, the uh, white rice and black beans and sweet plantains. My daughter loves the sweet plantains, bro. She be tearing it up. And my son, he likes, you know, she likes it all, but her favorite is the um, sweet plantains. And my son, he likes it all too, but he's not a, he doesn't like the sweet plantains. He's not a fan of that. He's a very picky eater. My daughter, she's more like her dad. She has a huge appetite. My kids are so skinny. They get it from their father. I guess from me too, because at that age, I was skinny too. You'd think my parents wasn't feeding me, but my mom, she got me on these Haitian vitamins. Oh my gosh, these vitamins make you explode, okay? They have you looking like a uh, sumo, uh, what they call those um, big Asian people when they're fighting the sumo, the sumo um wrestlers she had me looking plump so i don't want that for my kids whenever you know they decide to gain weight it's on them i don't i, I have nothing to prove you know and then when you're from an island um background they always expect your kid to be big and plump and if they're not big and plump they're like are you feeding them how come you're not feeding them? Why? I'm like, what do you mean? They eat every day. They eat up everything in the house. So, it's just weird. But yeah. Come on, woman. Are you ordering the whole menu? Damn. Finally. Okay. They have a avocado cilantro salad with grilled chicken. That looks good. Yeah. Um. Can I have the um the family meal, please? Family meal. Yeah. With white rice, black meat. Yes, with dark meat. Add a um a side of sweet plantains, please. And then, the, um, could you add the uh, chimichurri sauce, please, on the side? Yeah, the sauce. Could you add the chimichurri sauce on the side, please? Okay, and that will be it. Sweet plantains, yes. Yes, that'll be it. Thank you. Uh, 
I hope she did what I asked. Because whenever you ask for something, sometimes they don't do it at all. Look how close she is to the thing. <laughs> Look how close she is to the thing, y'all. Like her rear view mirror could actually scrape the side of the silver stuff. <laughs> the things that people do. I guess she's trying to be a convenience for the cashier, but you, you really don't have to park that close. But yeah, guys, it's like 2.54. The kids get out at 3.12, but it still be traffic. So by the time I grab the kids, it's like 3.23. Um, so yeah, no pressure. So yeah, I do work as soon as I get home. Well, as soon as I get home, um, it takes me an hour as soon as I get home, it'd be like um, 3.35 or 3.40. Um, I make sure the kids eat something. And since today's Friday, they don't have to take a shower. Then I just relax and eat with them. Hi. You did add uh, the dark meat, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna check it, cause I'm not sure she did that. Thank you. This is white meat. I want dark meat. Yeah. It wasn't you taking my order, though. It was a woman. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, can I have the, um, what is it called? The chimichurri? Um, chimichurri. sorry. Sauce, yeah. please. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how to pronounce it. They better not spit in my chicken. Slide the shit out of there. Thank you. No, no, it's okay. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Shit, I don't play. If I'm going to spend something, spend money on something, you better give it to me the way I ordered it. And it's so good for that. He's talking about, oh, I didn't hear it, but it wasn't you that took my order, sir. It was a woman. So... Listen, I live in a, a a redneck state. I mean, not state, but city. So, I'm going to act like them. Because rednecks, they don't play that boy. <laughs> Especially when they're sober. When they're, uh, where should I go? I should take this route. Because I'm going to go pick up the kids. When they're sober, they don't play that shit. When they're under the influence, they're okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like shit how hard is it to follow the directions how hard is it I hate that I just don't like it at all you know what I'm saying like that shit always happens to me even when I'm shopping doing grocery line uh, doing grocery shopping online and going to go pick it up you never get what you order it's always something missing. It's traffic, boy. Fridays be crazy. And I gotta stop at front, not today. I'm gonna do it tomorrow because I'm not gonna have time. 
Gotta stop at five below. Cause little man needs um headset for class because when they're using the laptops, um they need headsets to do their their work with. So and he's been through three of them already. And the reason why he's been through three of them is because I've been buying them at Family Dollar, which, hello, hello, hint, hint, Lou, you shouldn't be buying headsets that he went through three of them already and they're broken and you keep getting, buying them, purchasing them from um, Family Dollar. Doesn't that tell you? The quality is cheap, I know, guys, but it's convenient because it's right next door to his school. So... I'm going to just go to 5 and below because 5 below be having like the really nice um, headsets and they be like good quality and stuff like that and they're only like $5 or sometimes more than that but whatever I'll just get it there I should just go on Amazon it's the weekend so by the time I order it today I should receive it by t uh, Sunday with Prime yeah I'm going to do that I'm a dude's head. Oh. But yeah, I'm going to hit y'all up when I go and pick up the babies. Let me jam for a little bit. This is the traffic, the wait to go pick up the kids. This is what I go through every time. It's because I'm early. It's like 3.11. So y'all, the freaking black beans spilled all over the white bag. I'm so like piss right now. Okay, yeah, that's the same thing as Alice. I don't need it. Y'all can throw it away. You need money. That's it. You need money. Exactly. Everything, everything your school asks is money, money, money. Like, people got it like that. Well, you, you don't have to buy money for me. I'm not. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, so this is what they usually eat, my son. He's not a big meat eater. Sometimes he is and sometimes he isn't. And then my daughter loves her the sweet plantains like I was telling y'all before. So, yep. This is the chimichurri sauce. It's like, it's so good. It's saucy so I can't really show y'all what it looks like but it's so yummy it tastes good on the steaks that they have at Pollo so I usually ask for the sauce to put on top of my chicken because if you know us Haitians we don't eat our food dry we like sauce on top of sauce ask Alex to do it so yep alright y'all I'm about to tear this up so when you go to Poya Tropical, Ole, ask them for chimichurri. You're going to see it on the menu. It's going to be under that steak um, meal that they have. Mm. That sauce is everything, y'all. When I eat heavy like this, it makes me sleepy. But I got coffee, so... That girl is not sleeping today. Because I got to work. Hmm? Huh? your mom. So 
so good. And make sure you ask for dark meat too, because dark meat is so much better than white meat at Pollo, at least. Mm. Where's my son? Where's my son? Where's my son? Where's my son? All right, guys, y'all see where I'm at? I'm in that money making room. Okay, that's what I call it, my money making room. So I'm about to log into my gig work. It's not even that time to be logging in into the other job, but yeah, that's what we doing. It's Friday and I'm just like, you know how some people Fridays be the bomb where they relax, do them, and my Fridays, it's never like that. I can never do that. It's been a while since I ever like look cute, okay? It's been a very long time. <laughs> Me and my accents. But y'all yeah, guys, like, I just been. Ugh. That was everything right there. Uh, oh, excuse me. Higgy. That's me. Don't wear it out. <laughs> Miss Higgy. So. We see you have as... We see you as having missed or declined two of your calls today. Is everything okay? Please make sure you do not have more than one long little tab open and you are frequently clearing caching. Please feel free to reach out if you have. Okay. Don't be questioning me. Like. Yeah, what did he say? What did he say? Eh? <laughs> My son's like, what mommy's saying right now? Speaking Spanish, bro. <coughs> Ooh, excuse him. Y'all seen that, Billy? Tone me down. Tone it down. All right, guys. Let me um, get crunk, play some music. Alexa, play some crunk music. Let's see what she selects. Oh, of course, she will play Little John. Okay. 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 Okay.
Jinga, 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 and join John. I love this, guys. I don't think I would ever lose weight the way I eat. Me eats a lot. Everything gonna be all right. It looks like it's gonna rain. Let me check and see. Alexa, what's the temperature going to be today? Right now, it's 88 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 69 degrees. Would you also like to check the high for today? No. Alexa, is there any rain in our forecast today? No rain is expected tonight. I'm so sleepy, guys. That poor tropical did it for me. It made me so flipping sleepy. Oh God, I just pray that today is a slow day, that we don't get that much calls. Yesterday was so slow, but them calls were so frustrating. Man, oh man. You had a lot of service providers keeping these customers stranded, man. That sucks. Even Progressive is not known to do that to their customers and they had their customers trying to I'm in shock. Honestly, I just think that it just all depends where you're at. Like what state. Because I remember when I called Progressive one time, when my car fell in a ditch. Y'all, I fell in a ditch, okay? Let me tell y'all that story. And I, to this day, it's just like so surprising because I'm always careful like when I'm driving and everything. I was, um, when Grubhub first came out um, in our, um, in our um, region, I was, you know, doing it heavy because it wasn't that much people that knew about it here. And really, there's not a lot of people that own cars here. So I was doing it heavy and was making really good money. So I was delivering this customer's food and did not know that he had a ditch right in front of his home. So I'm parking on the side of the road. And all of a sudden, I find myself just, just, uh, the car is just like, pulling me down. I'm like, what the heck? Then all of a sudden, I'm just like, whoa! And the car just goes bloop right in a ditch. And all the, cus the customer, all you can see is facial expressions like, <gasps> just like that. And I'm like, help me! Shit! <laughs> so I put my window down, because you know I'm laying like this the whole time, so all my weight is just laying against the freaking um, passenger side. So you see the customer, he, he opens my door and my door is like lifted. Like, you know, the butterfly doors on the cars is just lifted up. And then he's like pulling me and I'm like pulling him and it just didn't work. I said, you know what? Let me do it by myself. So I um, shifted my um, my steering wheel because you know how some steering wheels will give you an option to um, unlock it and then pull it up. That's what I did. So I unlocked it and I pushed it up. And then I was able, gave me enough leg room to like be able to climb out. Man, I called Progressive because that was the time I had Progressive roadside assistance. They came within like 
10 or 15 minutes. But the neighborhood that I was in, they um, are, I guess they were really close to each other. Like when I say close to each other, like friends or whatever, cause they all, all the men there came to my rescue. They pulled, they were able to pull out my um, vehicle, out my, uh, out the ditch and everything. And my car was not damaged y'all. Nothing broke. <laughs> I would have thought that my mirror would have broke on the passenger side, but nothing broke, no scrapes. No, nothing. So when the guys pulled out my car, they was like, get in your car and drive to see if there's anything wrong. There was nothing wrong with it. So that was just so memorable to me. Then I end up calling Progressive and telling Progressive, don't worry about it. The issue has been resolved. So. No, did Progressive show up? They still showed up because it's like when I called, whomever I spoke to never canceled it. So they still showed up or whatever. But it only took them 10 to 15 minutes though. Huh. Things that I gotta go through no. to start work. No. What happened? No, 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 not while I'm working. Y'all get too loud. No, no. Just stay on your iPads and behave. And be quiet. So I'm fucking over. to log in y'all father god i just pray that the calls are not bad at all that i don't have to go off on a customer I always be with the bullshit, dog. It just fucking logged me out. y'all back up later on my break time guys i think i'm about to log out i don't feel like working today i'm assigning a provider to a customer i think after that once i'm done with this i'm i'm logging off i'm tired And the majority of these providers are either not answering or it's out of area for them.
Yes, hi, this is Lucian calling with the Gerald Swoop. I'm calling on behalf of a customer that's in need of a 13.1 mile tow from New Brunsville, Texas to New Brunsville. Are you able to assist, please? Okay, um, what would be your ETA? Okay, is it okay if I call you back? I'm gonna have to give you a call back, is that okay? Okay, thank you. He wants to charge and the customer is covered. So I'm not doing that. Did the mosquitoes get in here again? Ugh, I hate spring, yo. Mosquitoes be attacking. Yeah, I'm gonna just log out. I'm not in the mood, y'all. Y'all know how when you're not in the mood for something, you're just not going to do it. That's me right now. I think he's been on some bomb shit since Italy. Sweet, nice to you. Car.